Hey guys, it's Kristen from College Lead. I help students with planning high school courses and extracurriculars and also guide them through the college application process. I have received many questions on the art supplement. Many students have asked me, what is an art supplement? Should I submit one? How do I prepare to submit one? What are the other factors I should consider? So I made a video to answer all these questions. As always, every student is different. So spend your time doing your own research and develop a plan that is best for you. This video is for any high school student who is interested in submitting an art supplement for their college applications. Freshmen and sophomores watching this, good for you. It's always a great idea to know and learn about what will be expected for you during the college application process. For any juniors watching this, definitely watch this. It's very important to know what an art supplement is and how to submit one very early on so that you can plan ahead to avoid any cramming in a typically stressful process. So with that, let's get started. What is an art supplement? An art supplement is essentially an organized sample of your work. And the types of arts that count for an art supplement can range like this. Uh, it could go from performance art to visual art, music, theater, architecture, creative writing, and possibly more depending on the school you are interested in. So be sure to check the description of the website of the colleges on your list. Before we address the question of should you submit an art supplement, I think it's really important to understand how an art supplement is reviewed because it's a little different from how your common application will be reviewed. Note that this process may vary from school to school and that the example I will be providing is a generalization. So as an example, let's just say you are a classical pianist also a classic example. Um, so admission officers, so let's just say what happens to your art supplement. First, admission officers will receive your application. Then they will pass the, the art supplement to faculty in the music department. So this means that someone who is very knowledgeable in classical music will be reviewing your videos, possibly your music resume, any teacher recommendations and other materials you have to submit. And then the faculty member of the music department will rate your art supplement. The rating scale will vary from college to college. For the sake of an example, let's use the same rating system that Harvard does. Um, by the way, if you're interested in learning more about how Harvard scores students, watch my previous video. I will link it in the description and also hopefully in the corner of this video as well. But broadly, Harvard ranks you on a scale of one to six, one being the highest and six being lowest. So for example, let's say a score of one to six with one as the highest, six the lowest. Once the faculty has given your art supplement a score, they will pass it back to admission officers. And then admission officers will then proceed with making a decision on your admission. The important point to keep in mind here is how your score affects your admission. If you receive a score of five to six, it will likely boost your application. If you receive a score of, um, let's say, three to four, it probably will neither improve or decrease your chances of getting into that particular college. However, if you receive a score of one or two, it will likely have a negative impact on your admissions because now admission officers have confirmed that you actually aren't that great at this particular art and that will likely hurt your admission chances. From my own experience submitting an art supplement and also as a classical flutist, it is not easy to get a score of five or six. You often have to be national level or international level. For instance, during the college application process, I also applied to conservatories like Juilliard, NEC, and the Shepherd School of Music. I made it to the second round of Juilliard and was accepted to NEC and the Shepherd School of Music. That is how serious I was about music. So the key point here So the key point here is that an art supplement can potentially hurt your chances of admission. And let's highlight that just to emphasize this point. So now the question is, should you submit an art supplement? Yes, if you have been recognized nationally or internationally.
or if you have received any awards or notable opportunities to perform or display your work. And that is something you could cite in your art supplement. However, I strongly recommend reconsidering submitting an art supplement if art is just your side hobby and it's not something that you have dedicated at least an hour to every single day. I would also recommend against submitting an art supplement if you don't have enough materials to support your application. Because again, going back to the beginning, an art supplement is an organized sample of your artwork. If by the time you hit junior summer, you don't have enough samples or you are not at the point where you can create enough samples in time, then don't submit. Remember, quality over quantity. Submit it, submit an art supplement if the quality of the work that you submit is something that you are proud of and you think is representative of your skill and you think is representative of your skill. Otherwise, we consider submitting an art supplement. Let's say that you decide you want to submit an art supplement. What do you actually need to submit concretely? I would say, first of all, check the website of colleges on your list. Let's use Stanford as an example. Now we are on Stanford's website on freshman application requirements. You can see here this arts portfolio. This is the art supplement. So students who wish to highlight their extraordinary talent in the fine or performing arts may submit an arts portfolio through the slide room. I emphasize the word extraordinarily because again, if you submit an art supplement, you should be expecting to get a score of five or six, or at the very least, only have a very, very small chance of getting a score of three or four or below. Note that the application component is completely optional. So it's still possible again to get admitted into a school like Stanford without submitting the arts supplement. Here is the important part down here. Applicants may submit an arts portfolio in one of the following departments, arts practice, dance, music, or theater and performance studies. So in my case, I was a musician. So I'll click on music. And here we see are the detailed information on the deadlines and what materials will need to be submitted. So here we have a deadline. And again, note what I mentioned earlier, the deadline to submit the arts portfolio is earlier, much earlier than the standard application deadline for both restrictive early action and also regular decision. This is why it is so important to plan ahead and plan early. In my case, my art supplement consisted of video and audio recordings of me playing the flute. So what we had to do was find a location of where to record. Obviously I could record at home, but that's not always ideal for the sound quality. So we had to book a studio and that studio was very popular and we had to book a few months in advance. If I didn't plan ahead enough, I would not have been able to make some of the deadlines that I did during my college application process. Not only will you have to book your location, but you'll also have to make sure that your parent or guardian is able to drive you or that you are able to commute to that location and also that you have the right equipment to record. And also you have to practice the music a lot before you record. If we scroll down, we see the specific requirements for music. Students may submit one music portfolio in each of the following categories, instrumentalists, conductors, vocalists, or composers. So I was an instrumentalist, flute was my instrument. So then down here, I would have to submit two or three pieces that demonstrate my ability in a variety of styles, periods, or tempi. So that means two or three contrasting pieces. Conducting submissions requires a performance video and instrumentalists must limit submissions to one instrument. So here again is the important idea of quality over quantity. If you play two instruments, let's say piano and flute, and you're much better at the flute, don't, no need to submit anything from the piano. Just focus on the flute. Again, you want to play to your strengths. And as you can see, there are other specific requirements as well. And it's the same case if you would go to any of these other sections. So yeah, for what to submit in your art supplement, check the websites of the colleges on your list. I also recommend checking out the college list tracker template that I made. You can access it by going to the download section of my website. I'll link it in the description below. But in that particular template, I have a space for you to put the name of the college, the different deadlines of the college, any essay requirements, any additional files needed to be included, and whether they take an art supplement or not, and if so, what kind of recordings or materials will you need to submit. And it's just a really great way to keep track of your progress throughout the college application process. Let's say that you're applying to two safety schools, four target schools, and four reach schools. That's already 10 different colleges you have to keep track of, and each college will have a different requirement. So whether you use my template or not, 
do find some way to keep track. Otherwise, it is very easy to get lost in the process. And the last thing you want to happen is accidentally missing a deadline. It's better to get rejected than miss a deadline because at least you know you tried your best. And just to give you some more color on what you would submit in an art supplement, I'll use myself as an example. So in my art supplement, I included music recordings. I opted to do video recording. So it was video um, with an audio component because obviously I was an instrumentalist. And I had contrasting orchestral excerpts. Sometimes some schools would ask for them. You never know. Uh, I also included two contrasting pieces. And then I had a flute, teacher, recommendation letter, and a music resume. Oh dear, I can't type and talk. Teacher recommendation letter. <laughs> yeah. I would say the most important part here is the music resume because here is where you can list all the awards you have won as an artist. And what this does is free up those five spots for honors in your common application. Because again, a admission officers will theoretically consider all different factors of your application, including all the materials that you have sent. If you already mentioned, oh, I won XYZ competition for flute in your music resume, there's no need to repeat that information again in your honors section. So what I was able to do in my application was include a list of many different competitions that, had, that I had won in my music resume, and then list out the academic honors and awards that I won in my common app. So that is a little hack just to keep in mind if you are submitting an art supplement. So that concludes my video on should you submit an art supplement. I hope this video was helpful and if it was, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you're interested in seeing more content like this. If I get enough interest, I may make a part two of this video um, and maybe include a few snippets of uh, samples of my performance as a musician uh, just so I can show you how you can uh, strategically think about recording yourself if you are an instrumentalist or even if you're a dancer. I can also cover specifically what to include on the music resume or the arts resume, for instance. So yeah, if you're interested in watching a video like that, please leave a comment down below or let me know at mycollegelead at gmail.com. Thanks for watching.